What's up everybody, it's time now to take a look at my package. So today's package that I've got has been sent by Magic by Post. Check out the link in the description below so you can see all the products. Magic by Post is based in Bristol in the southwest of England. They've been open for over 40 years and they've been selling tricks to magicians all over that time. When they first started out, they started sending out novelty jokes and joke books and all that sort of thing. And since then they've progressed into more magic tricks and you can order the magic tricks from here and get it sent to you via post. The other month I reached out to Magic by Post and spoke to Andrew and I asked him if there's any products that he could send me that I could review on the channel. So in the package, I've been sent four products. The first one is the Al Baker deck. Second one is a limited edition ghost coin, which is the Houdini coin. Third one is a time capsule, and the fourth one is Ouch. So on the website itself, there's a massive array of different tricks, and these are only a small part of them. However, these are the ones that I sent because they actually create them in-house, so they've got a massive stock of them always available. One thing in particular which strikes me as absolutely amazing is Andrew, is actually creating dentures and the product slash gimmick for ouch is actually created with the same material that he creates the dentures with but out of all of them i'm really looking forward to this al baker deck because there's many different things that you can do with it and it's going to be absolutely fantastic so let's get into it so here we go here's the items that i've got and firstly, so we've got Magic by Post, hundreds of amazing magic tricks you can do. Visit us at magicbypost.co.uk. Check that out, and like I said, there's a link in the description below so you can get on and buy some of these tricks. There we go, there's the first one. So Magic by Post, this is the time capsule. Next one is the Houdini Ghost Coin. As you can see here, this is actually a limited edition one. Next one up is the trick called Ouch. You've probably seen it many times, it's where a spectator picks a chosen card and you take a lighter or some other sort of flame and you burn your fingers with it and the fingers actually appears as the card which they chose. And last but not least, this is the incredible Al Baker deck. There's the four that I got, so we'll take a look at them now. But first we'll do the Houdini Ghost Coin. So this one here, this is a limited edition, like I said. This is number 26 out of 500. What you do is take the special ghost coin, you make it vanish and make it reappear wherever you like. This is a classic trick and was used by Houdini himself, so that's why it's called a Houdini coin. So it's time now just to open it up and see what's inside. So with it, you get the background behind the trick, which tells you all about the trick, the origins and how it was performed. And also on the back of it, the actual instructions of how to perform the trick and also tips to do it. And this is what you get with it. Obviously you actually get an additional gimmick with it, but I won't show that because it'll spoil the trick away. So there's the coin. And obviously it's the same on both sides, it's got Harry Houdini and obviously the time he was alive as well. So the basics of that trick is you have the coin and you have a glass of water and a handkerchief or something like that to cover it. You have the coin, you show the coin, the coin goes into the water and all of a sudden it disappears. So yeah, for the trick, all you need is the gimmick, the coin itself, so I can show and you can create a story based on Houdini and how we used to do the trick and this is what I'm going to perform. Then all you need is a handkerchief or a napkin and a glass of water and that's all you need to do with it. Really good trick, so looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it goes. Up next is this time capsule. Let's open it up and see what's inside of it. Same as the Houdini one, what you get with this is the instructions and also the history behind it. The time capsule is based on the Vernet Crystal Thief. It's basically the same principle, however, that was 50% bigger than this and didn't come with a handkerchief and because it was quite rare, you couldn't get a hold of it. So this is their version which they have created. So the theory behind the trick is you have this little capsule and this silk. You get a scrap piece of paper, get a spectator to sign their name on a scrap piece of paper and put it inside of this handkerchief. What you do is put the silk inside the time capsule, get a spectator to hold it and hold it tightly and then and all you do is unwrap the time capsule and the silk has vanished along with the signature and that can appear wherever you want it to. So yeah, this is a really good trick. You can do it with a massive group of people, do it up close and personal. The only thing we recommend is have a table or something covering the bottom part of your body. So when you do the trick, you won't get found out. Very easy to do and a really remarkable visual trick. When they unwrap the capsule and the silk and the name has actually disappeared and reappeared somewhere else when they had that in their hand. Up next is Ouch. I've seen this trick performed so many times and always loved it. 
So it's nice to get my hands on one of these and give it a try as well. Like I said earlier, this is a really easy trick. All you have to do is get a spectator to pick a card, which is going to be a forced card. And what you need to do is have them remember it. You reach in your pocket to get out a lighter, tell them to stand into the flame, put your hand in it, and their chosen card actually appears on your fingers. Because this is a very unusual and very visual magic trick, it always grabs people's attentions and just works fantastic. So we'll see what's inside. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one, especially because it's made in-house. So again, with this, it comes with the gimmick and also the history and the instructions. So on this one, it says Jack Kent Tiller released the original blister effect back in 1972. At the time, it was considered a brand new effect in magic and it was quickly embraced by the magic community. And since then, it's been a, a mainstay for mentalists and magicians all over the world. For 10 years, Magic by Paul stocked the trick called Pyro Perception. And until recently, they've been struggling to get a, a regular and reliable quantity stock of this trick. So in order to keep this gimmick available to people and at a reasonable price, they've actually created the gimmick themselves. This was created in their dental lab, which is where they create the actual dentures. So the quality uh, is top notch. So with this ouch gimmick, you actually get four different cards which you can force. And each one of those is completely different. On one side, you have all of the four pips, so you can actually force any of those pips. And on the other side, you have a variety of different numbers and suits. All you have to do to perform this trick, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is get the spectator to go down, pick a card. So you can see here, that's their card, so Ace of Clubs. All you have to do is take a match. Then if you light it, you can actually burn your fingers as you can see here, on the blister, that is their card. So there's the eight, and on there, there is the clubs. So it's just as simple as that. Really visual trick, really easy to perform. All you need to do, like I said, force a card, use the gimmick, light a, a flame, a match, light a candle, anything like that. Super easy and just very visual and just blows people's minds. So. Definitely go on the camera bag, so when I'm shooting events or weddings or something like that, pull it straight out, bam, there you go. Really good magic trick. And last but not least, the Al Baker deck. So this here is a fantastic deck to get for all card magicians, so you can perform tricks and feats without actually using any sleight of hand. So let's take a look at it. So in the packet, again, you get a deck of cards, which is a blue bicycle deck, and that's your Al Baker deck and you also get the history and instructions with it. And because there's so much that you can do with it, and such good value for money, there's actually two pages worth of all the tricks you can do with it. So like the ouch trick, if you needed to force a card, this deck actually allows you to do so. So the way this deck is created and put together, you can do a variety of different tricks and make it look like they're absolutely impossible. So it's a standard deck of cards, it's got a blue back, and obviously when you scan through, all the cards are different. What I can do is I can flick through and any time that you say stop, then that is your card and that is four diamonds. As you can see, so easy to force a card. Like I said, with this Al Baker deck, the possibilities are endless that you can do tricks with it. There's a lot of them in the examples in the document itself. However, you can come up with different ones yourself. One of them is the card stab trick, which I've seen quite a few times. Basically, all you do is you get the spectator to pick a card, four diamonds, get and put it back in the card, you wrap it up in a napkin or a bit of plastic or something like that. And what you do, you can take a knife, you can stab it through the deck, and wherever you stab, that is where their card is at. Really, really good visual. Blows people's minds again, and super easy to do with this deck. So yeah, that's the Al Baker deck, and it's just done with bicycle cards. So obviously you're going to get the same sort of quality handling and styling that you got with normal bicycle cards because that's all they are. Again, comes in your standard bicycle box. So it's got nothing wrote on saying Al Baker deck or whatever force card it is, something like that. I do believe that every single deck has a different force card as well. So if you get one of these, you're not gonna get four diamonds like I've got, you might get a different card. Super simple to use and really, really effective. So highly recommend heading up Magic by Post and getting this. And of course, the other one I really like is that Ouch one. So really good as well. Both Ouch and the Al Baker deck uh, 9.99 each. The time capsule effect is 6.99, and also the Houdini limited coin is also 9.99. Like I said at the beginning of the video, all links are in the description. So if you want to go over and buy some, then please do so. My two recommendations is the Al Baker deck. So many possibilities you can do with it, and really, really easy to use and super effective. The other one is, of course, Ouch. Really, really love that effect. Anything to do with fire, 
for me is just so, so good, especially when it's visual like that. And again, the Houdini coin, really, really good. Really visual effect, especially when you have the coin there, coin disappears, make it reappear somewhere else. Really, really good. And same with time capsule. Surprises everyone, get the signature. It's really personal as well because it's their signature. They've got it in the hand and all of a sudden it disappears and they don't know what has gone on. So really, really good. And thanks to Andrew at Magic by Post for sending these. If you're looking for some tricks and other things like that, then head over to their website, check it out, get some tricks ordered. Leave a comment below, let me know which is your favorite item from the package as well. If you haven't already, give the channel a subscribe and keep up to date with videos. Also, if you wanna buy some magic clothing like I'm wearing now, so this is, trust me, I'm a magician, head over to INX Clothing, which is my clothing company, and get some awesome magic stuff. Until next time, see ya. Bye.